Welcome back everyone, my name is Patrick, you're watching the Oilers Rundown. Some major news coming down from the Edmonton Oilers on the waiver wire today. Let's go over all the latest. All eyes in oil country were on today's waiver wire at noon, and the Oilers delivered shocking news. Raphael Lavoie, Lane Peterson, and Ben Gleason were all placed on waivers. We've speculated for months, would Lavoie clear the waiver wire? Well, we're about to find out. Lane Peterson could be claimed as well, but I think he most likely clears. Ben Gleason had an outstanding training camp, and a team that took notice may snatch him up. Frank Saravalli of Daily Faceoff gave us this update on the Oilers' waiver activity. Oilers looking for some flexibility for opening night roster submission with Lavoie, Peterson, and Gleason on waivers today. Lots still in flux as Edmonton is trying to sort through health status of defensemen for Game 1 may end up seeing some of these guys in the lineup if they clear. So much is up in the air right now, but as Frank noted, this may not be the end for Lavoie, Peterson, or Gleason. The Oilers' PTOs are still standing. Adam Ernie and Sam Gagne remain with the team for now, but neither player has signed a contract. As I've stated previously, we may see Ernie signed to a two-way deal and placed on waivers tomorrow to go to Bakersfield, or he's simply released, and it's expected Sam Gagne will be joining Bakersfield on an amateur tryout. As we know, the status of Matthias Ekholm and Brett Kulak is still to be determined, and it's believed Marcus Niemelainen is injured as well. Niemelainen can't be placed on waivers if he is injured, so he'll remain with the team until healthy. With Niemelainen still on the roster, the Oilers are at their 21-man limit and only have 395,000 in cap space. What we're witnessing is the risk of running your team so close to the cap limit. The Oilers are essentially handcuffed. No one can be signed or added to the roster until the Oilers can either send Niemelainen down, they put someone on long-term injured reserve, or make a trade. If nothing changes between now and Wednesday, the Oilers will need to either run an 11-7 or possibly an 11-6 lineup, depending on injuries, to open the season, which will feature these players. Again, we believe Matthias Ekholm, Brett Kulak, and Ryan McLeod will be good to go for Wednesday, so Marcus Niemelainen may be the only holdup. There is also the possibility Nemo is being kept as cover and isn't injured that badly, so we see him inserted into the lineup instead. If multiple injuries become a factor and long-term injured reserve is used, we could also see Ben Gleason return if he clears. A player that could be of interest for the Oilers that's on waivers today is right shot center Colin White. White just signed a one-year deal with Pittsburgh following a PTO for the league minimum of $775,000 and they've placed him on waivers following the signing. We know the Oilers wanted a right shot center so they may put in a claim but if they do we will need to see a trade to create cap space so it's probably unlikely. Well that is the latest guys. I know a lot of people on X or Twitter or whatever you want to call it are calling for Matthias Yanmark to be the player that should have been placed on waivers for the Oilers so they could have protected either Raphael Lavoie or Ben Gleason. But the Oilers clearly value what Matthias Yanmark brings. He's a valuable part of that fourth line and I guess they just didn't want to expose him to waivers. So I don't know what's going to happen here guys. Like I said in the video, so much is up in the air. So we'll see what happens tomorrow when the Oilers submit their official opening day roster. Do we see a trade over the next 24 hours? It would make things a lot easier for the Oilers if they could find a way to do that. We'll see what happens here, guys. Let me know your thoughts on Raphael Lavoie, Lane Peterson, Ben Gleason being on waivers. Do you think they clear? Who gets claimed? Let me know in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan.